There you guys are. I've been waiting for all of you. Do you know how long I have been waiting for you all? I was just about to decapitate some live poultry. But now that you're here, we can continue this. So let's go ahead and do so. And back to normal voice. Hey guys, it's Multigame Master one reporting in and welcome back to my 100% Let's Play of Banjo-Kazooie. In the last episode, we started exploring Mad Monster Mansion and in this episode, we're going to finish up Mad Monster Mansion. And I'm in front of this green pool because I want to show you guys the way to open the church doors because as I said in the ending of the last episode, we are going to go to church. You want to slam on top of that switch and then grab a pair of turbo trainers and rush for the door before it closes within 14 seconds. Hopefully I can make it. There we go, we're in. Now let's get a good look inside the church. And as we can see, this room is very big. It's a lot bigger than what it was on the outside. And we've got big chairs, a big walkway big piano over there I'm pretty sure you guys saw that and big ghosts as well very big I wonder what kind of people would come here would they be tiny people or would they be big people for a church I don't know it just seems rather odd that things around here would be completely big but also creepy because this place is filthy but if we all know grunty she likes filthy things so i really can't question it let's make our way for the top of the piano and see what we can find we have an ecom token right here and is that a ghostly hand oh that's creepy that is really, really creepy. This is Matson. Matson plays his organ with ease, but can you follow him on the keys? Hmm, I'm thinking that's a challenge. So as I was saying earlier, this is Matson, and he's gonna play a little game with you guys. It's kind of like a game called Follow the Leader, maybe, in a sense. Anyway, what you wanna do is to play the exact keys that he plays on the piano you can either slam on the keys right away or you can wait for him to finish playing I prefer just following him not bad bear but now watch me copy this tune and amazed I'll be okay so we're gonna do it one last time and he's gonna be playing for longer than usual so it'll take me a while for me to keep up with him and complete this challenge. If you step on the wrong key, you will take damage, so you want to watch out for that. And also the keys will flash red. They will flash green if you hit the right one. And blue for every time he taps the keys. I gotta say, this Matson character is quite the musical charmer. And he's pretty friendly too. I'm surprised he isn't coming to take away my soul or something like that. The challenge is complete, and Matsen disappears. Your music skills are mighty fine, so take this golden piece of mine. Thank you, Matsen. I appreciate it. So the jiggy can be found on the top of the organ. We'll go ahead and pick that up real quick. There are other things that we can find here as well, such as notes, feathers, and an extra life, and also a skeleton that can throw us off if you're not careful. Here's the Jiggy. I'm like a musical maestro. In a sense. Here's a fly disc pad, and we can use this to fly up to the rafters of this building. And now we can get a good look as to what is up here. Another skeleton. The thing about the skeletons, they will go down temporarily, but then they'll be able to reassemble themselves, which is very creepy in my personal opinion. And I'm sorry that I was silent for a second. I was 
trying to get through this and concentrate at the same time while uh, without falling off. If I fall off, it's gonna hurt a lot and it's gonna frustrate me. But luckily it isn't the case. Here we have a grunty switch and the bonus shaky can be found on the eye at the witch statue's head in the spiderweb room back at 4-6. We'll pick that up a little later as soon as we take care of things in Mad Monster Mansion. Let's see, a safe way to get down. Well, the only way I can think of is landing on top of the organs. Happy landings. Or so I thought. Jeez. Luckily, I left behind these honeycombs. And I'll just pick them up to replenish my health. I hope you guys didn't see that. Okay, so you did see it. I, uh... I meant to do that. And you guys can go ahead and say, uh-huh, yeah, sure you did. I really don't mind. Anyway, um, here we have Mumble's skull. Which means that potentially Mumble will once again help us as soon as he wakes his bony head up. Let's see what we have in here. Got some Halloween decorations. Maybe not Halloween, but scary things. We need 20 Mumble tokens in order to transform into something. We have 40, so let's go ahead and work the magic. And he turns us into a pumpkin. Trick or treat. Ah, Mumble put out a pumpkin spell. Make good soup. Oh no, you are not, you are not gonna eat me. You are not gonna turn me into soup and have me for dinner. No way. No. I won't allow it. So now that we're a pumpkin, we can pretty much just resize ourselves into these holes that you see. And it's pretty useful. It's especially going to be useful for outside of this world as well. You guys will see what I'm talking about when we get out of here. So let's head back to the mansion real quick and one of these windows, well actually both windows, have places in which we can squeeze through tight spaces, such as this one, and we, there was an extra honeycomb piece right here. Now if we go to the other side of the mansion and check out that other window, we have the live toilet, and now that we're resized, let's see if we can go inside Logo. Happy landings, little one! Oh, this is going to be gross. So now we're inside Logo, and look at all of the, uh, disgusting poo that is everywhere in the toilet. I wonder how often Grunty uses the bathroom anyway. I guess given the amount of poo that is in this toilet, that she goes in it a lot. And I'm surprised that there are no bees swarming around in the toilet. I mean, this place is disgusting. And plus we have those whip cracks as well and those slimy creatures out of the tubes. Very disgusting. I really want to get out of here. I can't believe you went in there. Now wash your hands, filthy bear. Huh, you're one to talk about cleanliness. You're the one that you're the one that spends most of your time being covered up in sweat and smelling disgusting things and picking your nose and using bathrooms all the time and whatnot. Sheesh, Grunty. Dropping down the um, gutter, we have another jiggy in the barrel, and so far we have everything accomplished with honeycomb pieces we just need to grab seven more notes and one last jigsaw piece luckily I know a good place that we can go in order to okay since that gate is locked because I forgot to knock it down before recording I'm gonna have to find another way around Eh, just look at me, I'm a walking pumpkin. People could use me as their little trick-or-treat bag, or maybe as a Halloween decoration. Just something I thought of while I'm traveling over here. 
Alright, so we finally made it to the well after so much pointless time wasted. Now if we jump in this well as the pumpkin, we can find our last jigsaw piece in here and hopefully the remaining notes are in here as well. We also have another Ikum Tokum. Okay, two notes left. There we go. Ouch. Don't do that. And that's it guys, all of Mad Monster Mansion complete, 110-2. So now we can go ahead and leave this creepy area for good. Which means it's back to the start with us, there we go, and I'm sorry I didn't take care of opening the gateway between the well and the pond before recording. I had the game turned off for a moment, and I was taking care of everything, trying to unlock everything, the windows and the doors and all, but I completely forgot about that door. But I guess it doesn't really matter now. It may be time wasted, but at the same time I think it's time well spent because, well, I got to talk to you guys. Oh, and speaking of talking, I'd like to get your guys' feedback on the series so far. And also anything else that's on your mind. Oh yeah, and these rippers outside of the map you can't easily outrun them if you're a pumpkin, so you ought to try to find a better way to keep your distance. Anyway, i like to get your feedback on the series, guys, because i like to talk to you and i like to get some feedback. It really helps out the show, and um, yeah, I just like your feedback. Any opinion on, your, on the, uh, the series so far? Whatever you guys have to say, just let me know, and thanks so much for supporting the series. Here's Mumble again, inside the tiny castle. He can change us back to normal, and we're going to need to be back to normal for just one small thing that we need to take care of. Slamming on top of this coffin will unlock some kind of switch. Die, you ghost. Had enough of you. Okay. And slamming on top of this switch raises the water level in that area that we've been to before. The rusty metal room. And in order to travel out of here, we need to change back into a pumpkin. Pumpkin making mumble hungry. Me get pot ready. By the way, if you guys heard a sudden beeping noise, I'm sorry, that was my phone. It's running low on power. And Mumbo, for the last time, you will not make me into soup and you're not going to eat me for dinner. Quit getting your appetite in your mind. Alright, let's get out of here before either we're dead by these rippers or Mumbo transforms us into soup. It's quite sad that I'm leaving this area because, as I said before, this is my favorite level in the game and this means that I won't have to do my demonic voice anymore, so lucky you guys, but it's sad for me. Sad face. Before we travel back, we need to make our way across here without falling into the pool of lava below. If you fall off of here, it's an instant death. So you want to be very careful and gently make your way towards the end for two things that are coming up. Brentilda the Witch, we will talk to right now. Revolting Gruntilda's bedroom has dirty undies hanging from the ceiling. Ew. She also has a verica plant growing in a pot beside her bed. Filthy old bag. I don't even know what a verica is. It really does sound quite absurd. Adventure of a bear and bird. Get used to it, Grunty. And you'd be sick if you saw her enormous spotty purple undies. Spotty purple? Ooh. Oh, you poor dears. Your energy is low. Let me fill it up for you. That's better. Thank you, Brentilda. That's really appreciated. The other thing... We go inside this hole, and once again, we have Cheeto the Spellbook. Cheeto, Bear, and Bird have found, once more, another spell they get. 
If one more page I see you turn, then Grunty shall Cheeto burn. Nasty witches, so cold I shall tell. Enter Red Feathers on Sandcastle floor in Treasure Trove Cove. We're gonna activate that cheat a little later. Right now I wanna take care of a few things that are away from this area. So let's go ahead and carefully make our way back. Again, thank you Brentilda for your help. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. I'm hoping I can cross this without falling off and my controller is acting up again. Oh dear. I really don't want to fall off and I really don't want to die. Oh man. Okay, we're almost there. Okay. Safe and sound. Now from here we pretty much don't need anything else as a pumpkin. Mumble magic get weak. Magic run out. So we could just transform back into Banjo and Kazooie. And out of this room, we can go. Okay, so as you guys saw earlier, we had a jigsaw piece inside the witch statue's head. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it real quick. You could use a fly pad in order to reach it, but there's actually another way in which you can get it. And I will show that off right now. So the first thing you want to do is to get on the witch's hat and then jump off from here and if you double jump at the right time you can land on the nose and there's your jigsaw piece. So that's 8 jiggies, 2 left to be found in Grunty's lair, I wonder where they possibly could be. Like I said before it involves the Grunty switches, so only they hold the key. Alright, so let's go ahead and make our way for that room with all of the rusty metal walls. As you guys can clearly see, it not only raises the water level in that room, it raises the water level in this room as well. Okay, so let's go over here in this passageway. Get past that goldfish. It's more like a piranha. And this guy appears to be the next level, however the door is not going to be open at the time so we're going to have to find a way in order to open it. And the only way I can think of is pretty much just finding its picture. And I don't know why I jumped down from there, I guess I wasn't thinking clearly, let me just make my way back up there. Okay, so atop of these metal crates, we have another colored cauldron pot, and this one is blue. It connects to the cauldron back in the other room in the spider web. You guys saw that earlier, and I might show that off in the next episode. You saw it with Banjo, but changed tack. Imagine you on Grunty's back. Who, Kazooie? No way. So. Slamming on top of that button raises the water level again, and there seems to be a purple passageway over there, but we're not going to cover it in this episode. I will actually cover it in the next one because right now we're 18 minutes into the recording, according to my stopwatch. So one last thing I want to show you guys, and then we'll head back to Treasure Trove Cove, activate the cheat, and then I'll end the episode. Okay, so in these pipes, there's a gold feather here. You can break this down easily. And if we go through here, we have another switch that changes the water level in this place. This time we have 30 seconds in which to pretty much just do whatever we have to with the water level being this high. There's only one thing that you can do, or one place to go, rather, with the water level this high. 
And that is this area up here. You can only do it when the water level is at level 3. Once again, we have Cheeto. Two spells, one episode. Bear and Bird getting good at finding Cheeto, so another spell they shall have. That traitor book has pushed its luck, so in the burning fire, I'll chuck. Find Cheeto, which won't. Code you must enter on Sandcastle floor in Treasure Trove is Gold Feathers. Okay, so we have two cheats for the price of one, red feathers and gold feathers. I will meet you guys back at Treasure Trove Cove so we can activate the cheats. I'm still here, I watch you play, but I can't think of much to say. Shut up, Grunty. I guess I could show off the blue culture pot now, so it takes us from this room to the room with spider webs. And I was fortunate enough to show that off to you guys. Now I will meet you at Treasure Trove Cove. Okay guys, and here we are once again at Treasure Trove Cove in the sandcastle. And now with our two cheats in mind, we can go ahead and activate them by spelling them out. So let's start with red feathers. R, E, D, F, 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 where's the F? F, E A T H There H E R S Bear and Bird get 100 red feathers 100 maximum now is All my feathers It makes me sick Fly to me, your butt I'll kick! We'll see about that, Grunty. And now for Gold Feathers. And while I go ahead and spell it out, I guess I want to tell you guys that, um... Well, you guys remember the demonic voice from the intro of the last episode and this episode, right? Well, I thought that I would just, um use a demonic voice because it's my favorite level I was really excited to get that far and um, I just really felt like celebrating by using a demonic voice like that if you guys like it let me know in the comments below if not same thing let me know in the comments below of course it'll be the last time that I'll be using demonic voices for a while gold feathers is now a spell 20 gold feathers you get new maximum 20 is Gold feathers, you may have 20, but bruises, you'll still get plenty. And now, with everything maxed out with our eggs, feathers, red feathers, and gold feathers, now would be a good time to stop the episode. In the next part, however, we're going to continue to explore Grunty's, Grunty's lair and see if we can gain access to our next world. So, until next time, I'm Multigame Master 1, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.